Don't you just hate <clears throat> when your teachers will say, you had all this week to finish your homework. It shouldn't be easy. How? <laughs> so you want me to do a lab assignment, right? A lab assignment that's two pages long. Math homework, that's almost half the book. And my literature book is about this big. Not to mention what I have to do in PE next A or B period. You must have lost your freaking mind. Teachers be killing me with that stuff. They always want to do the most. Teachers, why you do stuff like that? You know good and well you don't want to be grading all them papers, but you be giving us extra homework like we live to go to school. And it hasn't changed once we got into college. Page report be like five pages long. And I know it's probably more once you, you know, increase, you know, your master's degree or your high, whatever, whatever degree level. It doesn't matter. You should not be in a situation where you have so freaking much homework that you can't even enjoy life. Go to work and they be like, you're supposed to be staying over. Like, I'll give you an example. <laughs> Boy, tell me why I was working, right? So the guy got mad because I was supposed to do something. I had to leave because I had a family emergency. He's going to get the nerve to say, I thought you said you were going to stay. You should know. Tuesdays I have school. I can't stay. When I tell you my teacher was like, or not even my teacher, my professor. No, not my professor. My professor was mad because I didn't get stuff turned in on time. But it was mainly my boss. My boss, dude, like, I tell you my boss was being a butt. Because here's the thing. He doesn't want to tell the truth about the fact that him and this co-worker, I'll just say her name is A, even though it's not. Light skin, got two kids. Anyway. You knew you were having an affair with her. You don't want to talk about it. You know, good and well, at the end of the day, you preferred her over me. She was ratchet. She was always late, always doing stuff. She was a sweet person, but I didn't like the fact that you took up for her all the time. I don't care what her situation was. That's not my business. It's the fact that you're unprofessional. That's what you'll find in whatever category you're in. A lot of people like to lie and stuff. But I was irritated because I was like, you had the audacity to sit there and put me on front street just because I said, well, maybe I think I'll leave in a week. I need to leave in a week because you guys been treating me like stuff. You guys are the only people I know that know how to dish it. But when I give it to you back, you can't take it. Ain't that funny? Then had the audacity to tell me, well, you have to have a real transcript. Who in the world would go to a job without a real transcript? That's what I'm saying. Y'all up here be doing some ghetto stuff where I'm from. You can't have fake anything. And if you're doing that stuff on your job, you have some personal problems. I don't care what the situation is. There's no excuse to bring a, a fake transcript. What is this, like, Cartoon Network, Total Drama Island or something? It's a job. That's like going to McDonald's and getting a job and saying you got fake references. It smells like stupidness. Like, for real. Oh, my God. Is that what you do in life? Yeah, that's, that's bad. It's bad real bad but yeah I don't know um let me see but like I was saying it's like school it's like you can always tell the people <laughs> like I'll never forget one time I was in class my teacher would tell me the wrong answers and tell all the other kids the right answers and I told my mom that and they had to have a school meeting right so when they found out that was the case then I had to be switched classes because of course the person I was taking classes with was related to somebody I took the bus with I'm talking about bus ministries but when you're in the back of the bus with friends that think they're entitled to stuff like I'll never forget when I was in a fight with uh, the girl named I'll just say her name is gray we didn't get in we got into it because well one thing she was stirring up a bunch of lies first of all her and the other friend named d started a fight or whatever and they knew that the situation was really stupid why are we fighting but i asked the other girl at lunch why did she tell gray what i said and she said i didn't so i walked away and all i hear is that why